now the American Road Course Tributes and things like them have, you know, you're on an even playing field. Everybody's riding the same type of horse, the same age horse. And so it's so much easier, so much more fun. And actually, if you go do your job, they will pay you to season your horse. And they don't do that very often in the open road scenarios. There's certain things about every discipline that maybe if they go far enough in that certain discipline that we feel like it affects a little bit in the roping. Uh, maybe stuff like if a cutter's super cowy, it makes the heel a little tough. And, uh, you know, if a rainer is pretty mechanical, they, they can be a little bit slow reacting for the roping. So, We've got to where we're buying more two-year-olds and starting myself than anything just because I told a guy that on the phone yesterday, if, but if you could see the amount of time that I put in our two and three-year-olds to get them ready for roping, you'd think I was crazy. I think I'm putting as much time in them as a cow horse or reining guy would because I'm not just teaching them to ride around collected. I'm the way he says, and I'm teaching them to be able to have my foot on the gas and on the brake at the same time and then stretch out and run and then collect and not just do one thing. So uh, we're pretty picky about what we're looking for. And we kind of got to where we just kind of free for it. Well, they, well got, they got younger and younger. We would always think, man, it's got to be a quicker process if you're buying a five-year-old or if you're buying a four-year-old. But sometimes there's a lot of baggage that comes along <laughs> with those horses. And like, like he said, like, it's mainly about getting, once they get finished in their discipline, there's certain things that are really hard to unteach. And so we went from five-year-olds to four-year-olds to now we don't really like to buy anything other than three-year-olds. And now we're getting to the point to where we bought a stallion and we're going to breed our own. And so it's just, it's just been a natural progression younger just because there's certain things in these horses that we want to feel. And it's so much easier to know everything that's going into them instead of trying to reteach or unteach a lot of that stuff. I, I just love the fact that they're putting so much emphasis on the horse in team roping, which needed to have been done a long time ago. I mean, everybody that's had a great one knows what a big part of their success came from that part of the partnership. But just, just to know that the team ropers are kind of recognizing these guys as athletes and the great ones are a lot different than the average ones. And I think it's just gonna make so much of a difference in the future of team rope in itself. I think things are gonna go for them. When, when you have a better partner, like if you're a quarterback and have a better wide receiver than you've ever had, you're gonna be better. And if you're a header or a healer and have a better opportunity at a, at a better horse and a place where they're making these things, uh, it's going to make you a better rope.